gonna settle down for a year and just have a happy life until we come back and ruin it a bit more next year. I'm back. Don't worry if you missed the other ones. It's really not relevant. Even I can't remember what happened last time. My save seems to have corrupted, so I had to download one. We're in the exact same place. The only difference is he is extremely buff now. He's been taking a lot of performance enhancing substances while we've been away. I don't know why this guy is following me and why he seems so underwhelmed by this all. It's not fair. You come in here and- <laughs> It's not fair. He's still talking. Was Is he dead? I can't even react. Oh, God damn it. This is a bad start to this year, isn't it? I do respect his dedication to his NPC role, though. He was getting that voice line out alive or dead. So I think I've got to clear this graveyard, then go rescue my sister, and then we'll go into town and see what mischief we can cause. Okay, quest complete. I, I got an undead hand. Why, out of all the things I could have taken, why did I take that? I guess now I can always joke. If someone needs help, I can go, you need a hand and give them the, the hand and then everyone will cringe. Check the guild for more quests. I'm kind of busy, dude. I'm trying to rescue my mom and he's like, check the guild for more quests. Like, what have you got for me? Book collection. Oh, the school needs more books. That's more important than rescuing my own mother, I suppose. Thanks for butting in. You might be undead, but you've never faced a man in a dress before. Ah, oh, yes, I made it. I'm at the torture chamber. <laughs> Just walks in casually in his dress and sandals. M mom <laughs> What? Did he not see her? There is one woman in there and he's like, oh, I guess she's not here. I'll just leave. What the hell were you thinking coming here? What do you mean, what was I thinking? I don't think. Never mind. I love what you've done with the place, mom. The place looks great. It just looks just like home, you know? Uh, I'd ask my mom to help, but I know she'll give me the old, I carried you for nine months and that wasn't enough, was it? <laughs> Crunchy chick. Yeah, that works. <laughs> I'm just eating little live chicks in front of my mom. She's in denial. She's not acknowledging it. Jack. Oh, hey, dude. Oh, you can do that? That is so neat. Maybe that's what my person did do. Just hold your breath and make yourself bigger. <laughs> my guy's posed during all this. He's ready to throw down. She's told him all about the sword. Like, do something. Don't let him finish his monologue. He's not a Bond villain. There's no audience here that needs to know the plan. Let's just kill him. Even they're moving now, and he's still just in that pose. <laughs> he refused to leave the pose so much that they had to clip through him. Okay, they took me. Oh my god, he's so beefy. <laughs> like, that is a fully grown man, and he looks like a child compared to me. Okay, you may have taken my hair and all my items, but give me back my dress, or so help me god when I get my hands on you. Hey, you, in the cell, next year. Yeah, I'm actively trying to kill you, I see you. They race us around the courtyard and take bets on who will win. A race? Oh my god, you have no chance. Look at my guy. Every one step is like five normal human steps. He's huge. I want to see a dirty race. Plenty of pushing and shoving. You hear me? <laughs> this guy's great. You'd expect him to be like a hardened prison guard, but he's like, jolly good, we're off to a race. Look at them. Like, my guy is massive. Surely they have no hope. Can I just beat them up? Can't race if you're dead, right? Get your finger out, puss bag. Okay, I can't kill him. Can I kill you? None of the other guards are coming to his aid. <laughs> they do not care that I am beating him up. Okay, I can't seem to kill him, so I guess I'll just run on, but I think I may have lost the race by now. Oh, yeah, I lost. Totally. Chamber. I'm going to the torture chamber for losing. He's gonna have fun too. He's into it. Look at him. He's not even bothered. That's the guard screaming. They're terrified how into it he is. <laughs> Another year of torture. Wait, this is actually canon? He got tortured for a year. <laughs> Should I make this in real time and just end this episode now and we'll continue next year with the foot race? Yes, I have hair now. All right, it was all worth it. You in just a moment. <laughs> He's talking to the wall. I guess it's the same thing. My character doesn't talk, so talking to him or a wall, it's the same thing for him, really. <laughs> Let me hear it! See what I mean about the talk to a wall thing? Like, it's it's the exact same. <laughs> All right, here we go! I hate you, I hate you, I hate you! Well, look who's bad. <laughs> The darkness of the cell consumed the hero's mind. Wait, you said that last time, so did it do it the first time or not? I've just enjoyed my stay so much. Stockholm Syndrome sunk in quickly. I don't know why they're giving him the prize of meeting the warden and hanging out with him for the day. Because he's such a violent prisoner. And he's been tortured for two years straight. One of my world-famous 
poetry readings. Oh, he took me here for a poetry reading. Okay, that's worse than any torture. I'm just trying to distract myself from his awful poetry. Uh, maybe this one? You need a code. Quill the joy that fills one when delivering pain. <laughs> As he said, pain, I just gave him a smack in the back of the head. Now, get back. They're very understanding about his violent outbursts. All right, I got the key. There we go, I'm free. He's like, uh? <laughs> I guess he's probably wondering why I'm not freeing them. I mean, I could, but I won't. All right, where is my dress? There it is. The undead. No, wait. The undead. No, wait. What was that voice like? <laughs> What the hell is this? A kraken? <laughs> you had a kraken? <laughs> I think I want to go back to the torture chamber. Oh, my mom just got absolutely destroyed by the kraken. I hope they glamorize this story when it's told, you know, as an actual fable, because it's not the most amazing of battles. We're just doing turn-based combat at this point. <laughs> oh, he's finally dead. I tell you, you might be called a kraken, but you're no crack at all. That's uh, Irish for like, you're no fun. I like the jokes they have to explain. They're always the most fun. Feels good, doesn't it? Wait, you could have given me more power? You didn't think to give me that when we were fighting the Kraken? And his destiny was clear. Yeah, I think we're thinking the same Jack. thing. Hey, have you no respect for guild masters? <laughs> <laughs> that freaked him out a bit, I think. I think I broke his AI. I broke my AI as well. His eyes are freaking me out. I can't really make sense of it because it's moving too fast. I think it's blinking, but it, it's really creepy. You should show more respect. No, no, this is so uncomfortable. You've crimes to pay for. No, <laughs> don't wanna. This person loves me despite what I've been doing here. There we go. That's plenty of murdering now to make me nice and evil. And you know what else I need? I need to get a better nickname because he's called like Paladin or something cool. That does doesn't suit me. Mmm, arse face. Yeah, that suits me. Hooray! Hooray what? Hooray, arse face! That's better. Ha -ha! Oh, this person likes me. You want to get married? No, I, I don't get this. You don't get it. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, oh I pressed the wrong button. Sorry. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. That was actually an accident. Ah, well, I'm really earning the name Arseface. What is this? It's not even like a magic spell. I think he's just gassy. Wait, why do I have a bounty after me? What? I'm not allowed to have gas in my own home? Rent out the house. Yeah, I don't want to live in a shitty place where you can't even be gassy. Yeah, take that. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll pay for it. It was worth every penny. I know I said I was renting it out, but I actually want to sleep once more so even though someone's renting it now i'm going in okay i remove all of my tattoos god that must hurt he has a lot of them there we go nice and evil ah. <laughs> that guy clearly doesn't like my tattoos now to show how really evil i am <laughs> yeah <laughs> dropped your box <laughs> oh yeah that's it wasn't a great prank sorry i'm a gaming youtuber not a prankster oh more people with boxes yeah there we go got you good that's a viral moment right there <laughs> this is the one time one of those stories are true like you'd see on r slash that happened like oh i walked into the bar and the manager came up and started applauding me and gave me free drink i don't know what a power mustache is but anything with the word power in it i'm getting because i am insecure in my masculinity unfortunately they don't do bowl cuts which i was really hoping for. I guess the pudding basin is close to a bowl. Hi, mister. What? Is that tattoo talking to me? It looks evil. I don't think I should listen. Could be a horcrux or something. Hooray! No, oh, I got a haircut and then the manager came out and clapped saying hooray because it suited me so much. Oh, look, how to make friends. Yeah, I yes. never read it. You can probably tell. <laughs> oh, he's actually going to teach us. Fine hero has just given us a good example of how to make friends by donating this book to the school. Buy friendship. Got it. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do about it? You're all children and I'm a big, strong man in a dress. <laughs> got some books for me, hero? <laughs> He shrugged off that attack on that child pretty quick. They're still screaming in horror in the background. He's like, got some books for me, hero. <laughs> okay, I think I'm ready to go do the quest. Oh, one second. All right, yeah, now I'm ready to go do the quest. <laughs> Okay, breaking two barrels is the same fine as attacking a child. Good luck finding me. I'm teleporting away. <laughs> He's just frozen in shock from that. You need to get to the Callus Gate in the middle of Darkwood. Who are you? Get out of my head! <laughs> is that my mom? That's so invasive. The hell is this? I bet my mom got in your heads too and told you to meet me here. She's always so desperate for me to have friends. Like, if I can just buy friends, I'm definitely buying ones with flesh. No half measures. 
Yeah, I, I forgot I can do stuff like that. I don't know why I've been hitting you with this big metal stick they call a sword. <laughs> I don't know who I just summoned divine power from because it definitely wasn't God. He's not on my side. There we go. With a little intervention from the divine being, mission complete. Why did I just get a fine? You want to address the dress, don't you? Look, you can address a dress, but I will wear a dress, regardless if you address a dress or you do not address a dress. Meet me in Maze's quarters. I found a book that may help. All right, fine, I'll go meet you there. I mean, if you're in my head anyway, you may as well just talk to me there. I don't know why you're making me travel so far. What? No! Just tell me! If you're gonna be in my head, don't just come in here to give me cliffhangers. Oh, hey. Yeah, you could have warned me in my head, maybe told me that there was monsters waiting in here, ambushing me. All right, whatever. We need to work on our communication. Oh, wait, what did she just say? Don't forget the book! Oh, <laughs> I forgot the book. <laughs> so I guess she was in there just reading his diary or something, and he's like, by the way, did lots of evil stuff today. God, I love being evil. Anyway, I'm going to do more evil stuff tomorrow. Haha, <laughs> I'm so evil. Signed, yours truly, Maze. Prepare! Like, why are the guards so useless? They're like, oh, prepare for bed, everyone. Come on, get your hot chocolates and into your pajamas. And <laughs> my mother's just been kidnapped. No one seems to care. You have reached very famous status. Thanks, that makes me feel better. You know, my mom's just been kidnapped, but I'm very famous, so who cares? There is a quest card for you, but if you choose to take it, you will forsake your other tasks. This is too important. All right, let me check my tasks real quick then. Uh, collect some dolls, kick some chickens. Yeah, I think I have enough time to save my mom. Thanks for asking. Give me the thaumaturgica. The what now? That's about five too many syllables for me to understand. You've received a new quest card. I know, you're five foot behind me. Why, why do you keep going in my head? Is it just a boast that you have this power? <laughs> Okay, player three has entered the chat. Who is talking in my head now? Or is that the wall? <laughs> How do I get through? <laughs> Wait, what? I was just looking at the quest thing to try and understand, and then I came out of the menu and I, I just appeared here. <laughs> I was worried when you disappeared. Yeah, I can see. You look very worried while you're torturing my sister. He's the one working for Jack. You're working for Jack Septicai? I'm going to kill you. Oh, oh no, the yeah, him. Jack, Jack of Blaze. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Take our two blood bags to the chamber. Hey, my name is Arseface, not Bloodbag. That's a good name too, though. If your name is Bloodbag, let me know in the comments. It's a beautiful, beautiful name. You can't win, boy. Hit with stick, hit with stick. Okay, it's no time for stick, I see. I'm uh, God, come help me again. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I can do that now. <laughs> I feel like I'm wasting God's time with my problems. <laughs> yeah, whatever you were gonna say there, I'm pretty sure it did. Now, for a guy who studied magic all his life, you don't seem very good at this. Like, all I'm doing is fireball all over again. You don't have a counter to this? What the hell is this thing? I'm just gonna call these Karens. Yeah, the manager's not in today. Sorry. I'm eating the crunchy chickens in front of him just to show that I really do not fear this guy. And I will have no mercy. I'll eat you too. To what? This guy never finishes his sentences. No, 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 no refunds without a receipt. No, I don't think I do. See, told you. Try to get your combat multiplied even higher. <laughs> That's what the guildmaster cares about. His leader of decades has betrayed us all. And he's like, ooh, get that combat multiplier a bit higher. That's neat. You want to know why I did it, don't you? Not really, no. The only quest is to escape death. Oh, that sucks. That sounds like a lame game, dude. I got loads of quests in my game. There's one about kicking chickens. The way my guy looks at things, I think he just doesn't understand what's happening. The lights are on, but no one is home. Jack is trying to activate the ancient focus sites across Albion. Which Jack? Jack of Blades or Jack Septicai? I fear Jack Septicai more. He has more followers than Jack of Blades. More like Bor Ragnarok, am I right, Kevin? Uh, so Maze couldn't hold you. Amazing, right? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I was thinking of that on the way over and I wanted to fit it in somewhere. I'll stay here and teach these animals who Briar Rose is. Okay, I'm assuming that's you. I, I don't know who you are. <laughs> are you ready to see the guild burn hero? I mean, I guess I don't really like those people. <laughs> I just murdered quite a few of them myself earlier. Jack's done it. He's activated them all. Yeah, this is awesome. This is great. Jack, I'm a big fan of your work. You received a new quest card. Wait, you were just talking to me in my head about quest cards. And you were dying? That's what you wanted your last words to be? <laughs> 
What? What was that zoom in? I think my guy is too tall for that. But I assume that was meant to be a shocked face. And guess what strategy I'm using against this guy? I'll give you a hint. <laughs> That's right. It's the same strategy I use on everyone. You would think he would have researched his opponent and been like, "Hey, this guy's a one-trick pony." But no. It was such a beautiful night. Now he's trying to make small talk to get out of this. This is like one of the few times where the hero and the boss are both cheesing the fight. Like he's just flying in the sky, spamming orbs at me, and I'm just summoning this beam to attack him. Okay, I won. Strike me down now with the sword of Aeons, and you will become as powerful as Jack dreamt of being. Okay. Cast it into the vortex, and its darkness will be gone forever. No, I'll go with the first one. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> He's just celebrating. The dude's a psychopath and somehow no one noticed. All right, well, that's the main story done, but we still have quests to do with the DLC. I think we'll be able to get through them in the next session. So we will end it there for another year. I'll see you next year. Uh, goodbye to everyone, but hello to one special someone. Future Kevin, I know you're coming back here to check what happened last time. Just wanted to wish you a happy new year. So yeah, but to everyone else, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did consider subscribing, would love a like or a comment. Helps me out a bunch. And other than that, I will see you next time. Bye for now.